Hi there science fans, welcome to our video on the main types of forces. Get ready to explore the invisible forces that shape our universe. Buckle up, because we're about to embark on a thrilling adventure through the fascinating realm of physics. Forces are pushes or pulls that can cause an object to change its motion or shape. They're all around us even though we can't see them. From the gravity that holds us to the ground to the friction that slows down a rolling ball, forces are constantly at work, influencing everything we do. In this video we'll dive deep into the different types of forces, exploring their unique characteristics and how they impact our daily lives. We'll uncover the secrets behind friction, unravel the mysteries of gravity and even tackle the mind-boggling world of nuclear forces. Have you ever noticed that it's harder to push a heavy box across a rough floor than a smooth one? That's because of friction, the force that opposes motion between two surfaces in contact. Imagine trying to slide on a giant sandpaper slide versus a slippery water slide. Friction can be static, like when you're trying to move that heavy box from a standstill or kinetic like when you finally get it moving but it's still resisting your push. We can experience friction in our everyday lives from striking a match to the brakes on a bicycle. Friction is everywhere, folks, and it's a good thing too. Ever wondered why you don't fall through your chair when you sit down? It's not magic, it's the normal force. This force is exerted by a surface on an object that's in contact with it. Picture a book resting on a table. The table pushes up on the book with a force equal to the book's weight, keeping it from crashing down. The normal force always acts perpendicular to the surface. So, even if you're standing on a slope, the normal force is still acting at a right angle to that slope, preventing you from sliding down. It's like an invisible hand, always there to support you. Picture a game of tug of war. Both teams pull on a rope, creating tension. This force is transmitted through the rope, pulling on both ends. Tension force is what allows us to use ropes and cables to lift and move objects. Think about a crane lifting heavy cargo. The tension in the cable is what allows the crane to support the weight and move it safely to its destination. From suspension bridges to guitar strings, tension force is everywhere. Ever stick your hand out of a moving car window, you feel that pushback? That's air resistance. It's the force that opposes the motion of an object through the air. The faster you go, the stronger the air resistance. That's why race cars and airplanes are designed to be aerodynamic, reducing air resistance and allowing them to move faster. Think of a parachute. It increases air resistance, slowing down a skydiver's descent, and ensuring a safe landing. Gravitational force is what keeps us grounded on Earth and governs the motion of planets around the Sun. It's the force of attraction between any two objects that have mass. The more massive the object, the stronger its gravitational pull. That's why we weigh less on the moon. It has less mass than Earth. So its gravitational pull is weaker. Gravitational force is a long-range force, meaning it acts over vast distances. It's what holds our entire solar system together. The electromagnetic force is responsible for everything from the electricity that powers our homes to the magnets that hold our shopping lists on the fridge. It's the force that acts between charged particles, like protons and electrons. Opposites attract in the world of electromagnetism, so positively charged particles are attracted to negatively charged particles. This force is also responsible for light, which is an electromagnetic wave. From lightning strikes to the colors of a rainbow, the electromagnetic force is a powerful force in our universe. The nuclear force is the incredible force that holds the nucleus of an atom together. It's what binds protons and neutrons together in the atom's incredibly dense core. And when I say strong, I mean strong. The nuclear force is the strongest force in the universe, but it also acts over extremely short distances. It's responsible for nuclear energy, both the kind found in power plants and the kind that powers the sun. Ever spun a ball on a string? The string exerts an inward force on the ball, keeping it moving in a circle. That's centripetal force. It's always directed towards the center of the circular path, hence the name center seeking. Think about a satellite orbiting Earth. Gravity acts as the centripetal force, constantly pulling the satellite towards the center of Earth and keeping it from flying off into space. From merry-go-rounds to the swirling motion of hurricanes, centripetal force is all around us. 
Now imagine you're on a spinning carnival ride, you feel yourself being pushed outwards, away from the center. That's centrifugal force. It's the outward force that acts on an object moving in a circular path. Think about a washing machine during the spin cycle. The spinning drum creates a centrifugal force that pushes the water outwards, forcing it through the holes and drying your clothes. Centrifugal force is all about that outward push. Elastic force is the force exerted by a stretched or compressed material, like a spring or a rubber band. Think about what happens when you stretch a rubber band. The more you stretch it, the greater the elastic force pulling it back to its original shape. This force is what gives springs their bounce and allows us to launch projectiles with slingshots. From trampolines to bungee jumping, elastic force adds an element of springy fun to our lives.